Welcome to Secondus Underhills Tile 2. Welcome to JD and the Sub C. Thanks for joining me. This tile is going to start with this look um, that I'm using. Uh, that tile right there is uh, it's a hard one for the guys who build stuff. But uh, here we go with some 3D prints from my buddy Mike. Those were the two uh, videos that I did stuff for him in the past. If you want to go check them out. As always, Badger Games. Uh, yeah, you know, pretty much read the screen. If you type in JD2024 on your next order, you'll help out the channel. That would be great. So, yeah, we've got this large uh, column that he printed out for me. And the truth is, um, I was going to trim all that crap hanging off of it. But uh, in this particular tile, uh, I think it'll come in. Uh, getting back to that uh, tile shape. Um, normally, you don't do that one because it really costs a lot of money in walls and columns. Um, but I had this little wall section here that was nice. Um, and I figured, you know what? Uh, I'll, I'll have some crashing stuff out of the ceiling. Um, <laughs> so silly. Uh, these things, they, they just, they come as I'm building for the most part. So here we go. We've got, uh, gonna build the two columns here. Uh, the two tall columns that are actual Zorn Mort. Um, I uh, am going to have a platform going across. Um, there's going to be several ways that you can join other tiles to this, either by walking on it or um, by uh, joining a piece of scatter terrain that I'm going to make a little later. Um, I think I alluded to this in one of the uh, uh, one of my messages that I got, some comments I got on the, uh, the other video. Uh, when, when the melted stuff comes out, um, I'm going to be using that in a little bit different way. It's going to be toppers for a lot of this terrain that I've got um, that I'm building right now. Um, I am going to make one or two tiles out of it. Um, I don't know what the price is going to be yet. Um, this stuff that I'm using right now, I bought several years ago before the prices really started going crazy through the roof. And then I got a couple Christmas presents and uh, some other friends of mine that uh, kind of worked uh, into terrain building like I am. They just like, hey man, we're not gonna use this. We got these. Um, so as we're on the glue section here, uh, I've got resin parts and I've got plastic parts. So you'll see me flipping between the two glues um, here and there. But yeah, we've got this long, long walkway on top. And then we'll have a level down. It's probably my favorite part about Necromunda is all the different levels and things like that. You can, you can look at things so many different ways um, to be able to build all this stuff. But yeah it's uh a little bit uh well crazy uh, and you know the whole idea behind making that uh that i'm gonna call it the h tile uh but it, it's totally not an h but um matter of fact that's a good idea maybe i should make an h tile inspiration hits during this voiceover work for the other the other video um anyways uh yeah these uh you can make these and build these any way you want um i am using parts and pieces and and other kits you know as i do these builds a lot of this, I have a general idea. See, I doubled up the platform up top there. Um, but down on the bottom, we have uh, the basic uh, alcove tile. Um, yeah, so here we go. We're going to start the painting. The, uh, the green uh, Steinorez or Steinorez uh, uh, 
primer again. I also added black to it to kind of, or not black, sorry, gray, to gray it out. Um, give it a nice, really, really drab. Um, and then here is the uh, Thalo ink, Thalo green uh, with a bluish tint. There's also a Thalo green with a green tint, um, which I might be using at some point in these tiles. Uh, I had an interesting uh, comment come up uh, on that last tile about what it would look like without all of the rusting powders and everything else that I'm putting onto them. Um, I do have a plan for that. Yeah, here we are. We've metallic, or we've put metallic paint on most of the metals and things like that that I wanted to use contrast colors on, and we're going over with contrast. Um, here we are starting uh, oils. I am going to make some blown out tiles. Um, I, I've always, and granted, I don't necessarily know altogether that much about the uh, the background of Secundus, but I'm going to guess that, uh, uh, you know, the, the powers that be on Necromunda keep bombing the hell out of that place um, just to see if they can actually eradicate all the gene stealers, which I'm getting really excited looking at what people are doing for conversions on uh, gene stealers and things. But uh, yeah, so on this particular one, um, I needed it to dry a little faster. Um, and a little bit more control because I was going to do heavy powder work on this. So it was basically just dots of uh, several different colors. Um, I got a couple browns in there, a couple blacks, a magenta, um, a couple blues. But uh, yeah, here I wanted to um, up the gunk and the rust and give, give myself basically some targeting shots for uh, what the dirt was and what the rusting powders were. Um, these power, I'm going to give you a little extended, real fast cut here of me doing the powder work. I was watching this over and over again to see how much I wanted to cut out and what I didn't want to have. Um, I don't think, I, I didn't think it did it justice to see exactly, you know, how I go about with this. But a lot of the oil paint that I use and the colors that I put where they are are targets for this step so that I know where to be working for rust and where I should be working for uh, gunk, uh, you know, dust. I, you know, I, I would think that Secundus even has more dust and other things going on to it than <laughs> other places. It's a bombed out hive, um, not just falling apart, but also, you know, permanently wrecked. And uh, yeah, here we go. One of my favorite parts is when we start upping on the rusts. Um, is it too much powder? Well, you know, there's a that, that's a that's a point of view. I can see it. Um, at this point right now, I'm kind of going a little overboard on these things because I really am liking. I'm enjoying the look of this. Um, but uh, you know, in the future, you know, I don't know which way I'm going to go. But uh, yeah, here we go with the uh, the shadowing, which is what really makes this this uh, this piece stand out. I think um, I spent an awful I th said it in the last video. I spent an awful lot of time making sure that I was getting the right cold contrast for this, um, and it's a lot more black than it is uh, purple. But there is the purple in there. You can see it. Um, almost you know as a as an afterthought but the still shots are coming up here yeah you can kind of see that purple hue that's coming in on the shadowing on this um guys i'm having such a fun time and i am knocking these things out left and right this is really cool hitting this um you know the second time around building building a board um, it's probably going to get just as out of control as the first one, <laughs> just in a different way. But, uh, you know, thanks for joining me, you guys. I really appreciate it. And I hope you like the video. And as always, please like and subscribe.